Hi, today now we are testing the LNT MCOM relay. This is the motor protection relay. You see, this is the HMI. HMI in the front of the panel. The relay is in the back side. You can see this is the our relay. Okay, relay in back side and the HMI in front side. Okay, this is our CT module. This is our CT module. This is the sensor type CT. Okay, this is specially made in LNT. This is not a normal CT. This is a sensor TD CT. Okay. For the injection purpose, now we are making this connections. Okay. We are making these wires. Okay. And we are injecting in directly in primary. This is our connection. And this is our VT connection. Three phase, three wire system. And then this is our feedback. Okay, now we are going to test this relay with the Omicron CMT356. This is our VT connection. This is our CT. And then we are taking the feedback. This is our local motor control center. Okay, we make this setup and we do with the, this only. Okay, this is where we start. LC start. Stop and LC start. Okay, this is the software for the MCOM relate this is software is mcom suit this is the software so we are configuring through this software only okay first we yeah, so start with the current measurements okay now we are injecting 10 amps because we are injecting directly primary current only not the secondary current so we are injecting direct primary current so 10 amps we are injecting and see the, the RFS 10.03 and YFS 9.897 and BFS 9.98 okay so the current CT circuit is okay current measurement we read so next we are going to start the VT Okay, now we are injecting the three phase voltage. See, this is RY phase 400 volt, and then YB 401.4, and then BR is 401.8. This is a 400 volt system. Okay, current and voltage measurement we are taken. So now we start the testing. Okay, this is the motor settings. Okay, the full load current is 10 amps, and then rated voltage is 400 volt, and accelerated supply this is 230 volt. Okay. This is our setting, motors, motor setting, motor name plate details. Okay, now we are going to IDMT phase over current stage one. Our setting is 125 percentage of load current, which means 12.5 amps. With the very inverse curve, K factor is 1.6. Okay, now we are start the testing. Okay, now we are. Our setting is 12.5, so this is our setting. 12.5 pickup and 11.87 is drop off. So for the ramping we are first injecting from 11.80 to 12.7 amps and then reducing 12.6 to 11.75 start Actually, is 12.37 pickup and drop off is 11.82. Okay, okay, pickup we are testing now. We are testing the trip timing. Okay, this is the IEC very inverse curve and then K factor is 1.6. So uh, now we are injecting 1.5 times and 2 times and 3 times. Actually, nominal timing is 43.20 seconds for 1.5 times. 21.60 is for 2 times and then 10.80 seconds for 3 times. Now we start the injection, check the timing. Okay, for the tripping timing, motor is should in run condition. Okay, so now we are start the motor. Now, motor in running condition. How we check the timing, trip timing. 
okay now check the tripping okay our for 1.5 times our nominal is 43.20 and then actually is 43.57 and then for two times 21.60 actually is 21.78 and then for three times 10.8 seconds and actually is 10.85 so tripping is passed